Oh, stop, girl. Stop. You're too sweet. I did order my overtone, and it's coming. I'm so excited. Nothing says mental stability like dyeing your hair, right? All right, guys, if you're here early, if anybody's here, I don't know how to tell. Um, you can start warming up with the Fulcrum 5. We will do the Fulcrum 5 together. So if you want to wait and hang out and watch me, just sit here that's cool too but yeah we'll get started in, in about five minutes do, 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 do. The new Facebook setup, it's hard to see who is watching. Oh, here we go, viewing. Hmm. Never mind, that's not it. Oh, well. if you are watching on Facebook, shoot a comment in and say hello so I know that you're there. Otherwise, I don't really know. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself in a camera, which is fine too. Starting to get used to that new normal. Uh, today's workout, if you are hanging out with me, is going to be a wall-based workout. Dekayla programmed it. It is super fun. Um, I will be showing options where you can use a wall. I'll also be showing options where you don't need a wall. Yeah, so if you have like a really sturdy wall nearby, you know, clear your stuff away and use that. If you don't, like maybe you're in an apartment or something and there's just not an option, I will show you options. So you can still do this workout and it'll still be really fun without the wall. So, but if you have a wall, maybe take these couple minutes to go ahead and move things out of the way so you can use it. Because surprise, surprise, Tequila programmed it. So there's handstands or wall walk-ups. That's not surprising. <laughs> Take about three more minutes, and then we're going to get started with our warm-up. Now I'm going to play with my hair. Mm -hmm. 
Don't know how I got that. Hi, David. How are you? Not sure if you heard or how long you've been here, but today, I guess we'll need a wall for today's workout. Yes. So if you have a wall, cool. Go ahead and get it prepped. If you don't have a wall, that's okay. I will be showing alternatives to all the exercises. Not taking Oh, Katie, stop. You're so sweet. Thank you. My goodness, you guys. I hope you have an awesome day, Katie. Hopefully, you'll work out with me sometime soon. Mm -hmm. Cool, awesome, David. Yeah, I'll show you both options. Both would be a really good workout. And I'll probably, as I'm doing the workout, I'll alternate between which ones I'm doing as well so you guys can see. All right, on that note, it is noon. It is time to get this show on the road. If you are just joining today, we are doing a wall conditioning workout. Um, if you have a wall, take the time to find some space by it. If you don't have a wall, that's totally cool. I'm going to be showing alternatives that you can do instead of using a wall. But before we get into the fun stuff, we got to warm up. So let's come on up to standing and go through the fulcrum five today. I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit. Let's see if that works. That's pretty good. All right, guys, so finding your stance. Uh, we're going to go into our reverse lunges, so I want you to step one foot back, bend your knees, arms up to the side. You're going to open up into a twist, come back through center, then push through your heel and take a step back with the other foot. Again, open up to a twist, then right back down. Yeah, let's do that a couple more times on each side. So just waking up those legs, try to sit low in your lunge. You can pause in that twist if it feels extra good. Starting to find your breath as you come up from that lunge, giving yourself a nice big exhale. Let's go one more time on each side, and then we'll start to switch it up. Awesome job, you guys. Now I'm going to take that same step back, but instead of twisting, I want you to reach the same arm up and go into a side stretch. Come back through center, then stand tall. Yeah, so stepping back, arm up, side stretch, back up. And repeat, yeah. I like to keep my hand on my hip and almost assist the stretch by gently pressing into my hip. You don't have to do that, but it's just a fun idea. Maybe try it out. Whew, starting to feel those legs waking up, heart rate lifting just a little bit. Let's switch it up and start to wake up our hamstrings next. So, hands on the hips are out to a T. You're going to bring most of the weight into one leg. Hinge forward, keeping shoulders hips square. Then nice big lift and set the foot down. Other side, soft bend in the knee. Hinge, ooh, don't fall over. Hinge at the hip, back up. Now these first few, if you're a little unbalanced, that's okay. That literally happens to all of us. But take your time as you start to find your balance. Now we are doing a wall workout today, so if you are by a wall, know that you can always use that as an assist with your fingertips. Yeah, let's do one more of those on each side. Waking up those hamstrings. Awesome work, you guys. Let's come on down for our sun salutations. So we're just gonna do three sun salutations today. We're gonna start in a downward facing dog. So hands on the ground, pop the hips up into the air. Take a second in your down dog, maybe pedal it out from one knee, bend the other knee, shake up the hips. Then we're gonna take an inhale, shift forward to your high plank, pose shoulders over wrists, hips in line with shoulders. 
Lower down halfway from your toes or your knees. Inhale for up dog. Keep your legs active, your arms active, pushing away from the ground. Then exhale, down dog. Hike your hips up high. Pause for a breath. We're going to do that two more times. Let's inhale, shift forward, plank. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take the breath. Nice and one more time, just like that. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press it back. Pause and breathe for a moment. Then slowly come down to your knees and sit back. And we're actually not going to be doing our uh, bear today because, whew, trust me, your quads are going to be on fire from the first round of our workout. So we get to not do that right away. If there's anything else that you feel like you need to warm up in your body, feel free to take uh, this time to do so. But I'm going to start going over. I'm going to start going over our workout. For today. I'm going to go over the board. And we're going to talk about it. I know there's a little glare, so if you can't see the board, that's okay. I have also written the workout in the description. This is just for reference. So today we are going to do a descending ladder with time. So we have five different exercises we're going to go through. Our first time through, we're going to do a minute in each of these exercises. No recovery between, yeah? So you're going to go five minutes of work right off the bat. But don't worry, life is going to get a little easier every time. We're going to drop 10 seconds until we get down to 20 seconds in each movement. Yeah, so we're going to go 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. 20 will be our last round. We're not going to do 10 because 10 would just make you feel like a crazy person. You wouldn't be in anything long enough. Cool? If you have any questions about the format of the workout, feel free to type them in the comments. I'll be using a timer on my phone so you'll be able to hear the buzzer and I'll be counting you down and letting you know uh, how much time we have left as we're moving. Cool? Let's talk about our workout. So our five movements, we're going to do a wall sit. We've all done a wall sit before. A wall tricep. That might be something new to us today. A wall glute bridge. Again, potentially a new move for you wall walk up, and then a hollow body hold, yeah? So I'm gonna take the board out of the way. I'm gonna adjust the camera. I'm gonna show you the different movements and again, the alternatives if you don't have a wall nearby. So for our wall sit, you're gonna go ahead and bring yourself against the wall, back against the wall, and you're gonna bring your hips down. You'll notice my thighs are parallel to the ground and my knees are right under my ankles. What I don't wanna see is you know, really far out. I don't know who would do that really far in. Um, make sure that you're making those nice 90 degree angles even though it's tough. If you don't have a wall, you can do a chair hold instead. So bring your toes together, your heels apart, squeeze your inner thighs tight, and then I want you to reach your arms either out or biceps by the ears and sink lower to that chair. You won't be down completely in 90-90 in the chair, but you're going to think about squeezing those inner thighs together. It will burn just as bad. Movement number two, we're going to do a wall tricep push-up. So you're going to come into a plank position with your hands on the wall, feet back. You're going to bend your elbows towards the wall like you're going into a forearm plank, and you're going to press into your palms. You might adjust your stance to make this a little harder. You might adjust your stance to make this a little easier. Now this may seem obvious, but our modification, if you're not using a wall today, is to just give me a tricep push-up. So this can be from kneeling, it can be from your toes, the hands under the shoulders, you're gonna hug your elbows into your side, come down, then all the way back up. Just make sure you're taking that tricep variation today, so elbows won't go out 45 degrees, elbows will hug in towards the waist. Our third movement is gonna be a wall glute bridge. You're going to come down to lay on your back and bring your feet onto the wall. Nice. So with our feet on our wall, our feet and knees are hip width distance apart. We're going to push up to our heels, squeeze our seat, come up, then bring it right back down. Again, we're going to lift and squeeze, then come right back down. Our modification, if you're not using the wall today, is just to give me a blue bridge with your feet on the ground. In either variation, be mindful that you're not moving into 
a back bend, yeah? Our rib cage stays closed and the work stays in our glutes and our hamstrings. All right guys, two more movements and then we're gonna get into today's workout. Uh, next we're gonna do a wall walk up. So, you're gonna find a plank position, close to the wall, shoulders right under the wrist. You're gonna step one foot up, other foot up, and you're gonna walk yourself as far into the wall as you can go, and then you're gonna walk yourself right back down and come into your plank. I hit a little bit of a ledge, so I'm gonna move myself over next time. Um, but ideally, if you can touch your torso to the wall, that's awesome. If you can't, walk in as far as you can, control it on the way up. Now, if you're not using a wall today, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come into a plank position. You're gonna pipe your hips up, walk yourself all the way back, and then walk yourself right back down. If you want something a little bit more, you're welcome to add a push-up when you get to that plank position. Our final movement's gonna be a hollow body hold. Uh, this will be the same for all of us. Now, we're not actually using the wall for this, but you're gonna lie down. You're gonna extend your arms and your legs out long. Press your lower back into the mat, then lift and hold. A lot of shake, a lot of shimmy there. You're just bracing and breathing. Uh, those are gonna be our five movements, you guys. So let's take a second. If you have any questions, you can type them in the comments. I'm gonna get my hair out of the way because this is not the workout to have your hair down for today. I'm sure it'll have a mind of its own regardless of what I do, but let's try to keep it out of the way. All right, guys, are we feeling good? We're feeling ready for today's workout? I hope so. All right, I'm gonna grab our timer here. So as a reminder, we're gonna start with one minute of work in each movement. Yeah, so a full minute in each movement, no break in between, cool? All right, go ahead and come to your wall. Our first move is gonna be our wall sit or our chair pose. So wall sit or chair pose, one minute. Get the hardest one out of the way first, yeah? Let's go in five. Wall sit in four, three, two. Oh, you didn't hear the buzzer, but it's there, one. We're gonna come all the way down. So, in my chair pose, hips right in line with my knees. A lot of times it's easy to kind of like camp out and hold yourself up. Think about bringing your shoulders back. Arms can come straight out ahead. Arms can come by the side. Taking deep breaths in. Deep breath out. Guys, you're already halfway there. This one isn't so bad. You can definitely hold this a little longer. My chair poses, be sure you're squeezing your inner thighs tight together. Can you keep your biceps by your ears the whole time? Nice work, you guys. We've got 15 seconds. We're gonna flip around and go into that wall tricep push-up right away. There's no break between our movements. 10 seconds and we've got that wall tricep push-up. Oh, hello, quads. There you are. Three, two, and one. Oh, there's that buzzer. Hands on the wall. We're coming down. Big exhale, press it up. Being sure to keep those elbows hugged and tight. Squeezing the triceps at the very top. Nice work, you guys, you've got 30 seconds. Keep that plank position, core tight. Nice job, 20 seconds, almost there, almost there. As a reminder, coming up next, we're going to come down to the ground. We've got that glute bridge next. Yes, yeah, so a wall glute bridge is next. Nice, seven seconds, you're gonna come down to the ground. That's four, three, two, and one. Take it down to the ground, bring your feet up on the wall. Find your space and drive through those heels, squeeze your seat up. Again, all that tension is in our glutes and our hamstrings. Find that tension at the top, then hold on to it as you lower down. Nice job, you guys. 
Push into those heels, squeeze your seat tight. Awesome work, awesome work. You are almost there. We have 20 seconds left, 20 seconds left. Up next, we're going to flip around, find your plank, because you have your wall walk up, yeah? So wall walk up next. Woo, flip it around. So find your plank position, shoulders under wrists, one foot up, go ahead, take that walk as far in as you can go, pause, then walk it right back down. Step down into that plank. Nice job, you guys. Let's do it again. Feet come up. Go ahead, take that walk in towards the wall. Then walk it right back down, stepping down into your plank. Nice. Go as slow as you need to. Again, if you don't have a wall, guys, you're walking back to your feet. Then walking right back out to plank. Yeah? So without a wall, or if that wall variation just doesn't suit you, walk out to those ankles, then right back up. Guys, you've got five seconds. We're gonna finish on that hollow body hold. Come on down to the ground. Here we go. Arms and legs out long. You want to lift everything up. Breathe and hold. Not that any point you're like, I can't do it anymore. I want you to come down for a second. Take a breath and then lift back up. Nice, can you point your toes? Squeeze your inner thighs. Reach your arms long. Again, if you need to take a break, make it intentional, make it mindful. Come down, then come right back up. You guys are doing awesome, you're so close. You are over halfway. 20 seconds. Nice work, you guys. Your final 10 seconds. This is it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Huh. All right, there we go. We've got our recovery, you guys. So we get a minute and a half to recover here. Whew, take a breath. Round one. We did it. So round two, same exact thing. Nothing changes. Only thing that's different is our timing. So we're gonna do 50 seconds in each of those exercises. Same moves though. Ooh, yeah, I felt that. So this next time around, I'm gonna be showing everybody the non-wall options. You don't have to change. If you're using a wall, stay with that wall. But just so that we all see what's happening, I'm gonna keep alternating between the wall variation and the non-wall variation. So just so you guys know. Hmm. All right, guys, we got about 30 seconds left. I'm gonna hop back into this. Yeah, so 30 seconds. Our first move's gonna be a wall sit. I'm gonna show a chair pose this time though, because again, some of us might be working without a wall. All right guys, Whew, take a couple more big deep breaths. Find your space, get excited. In 10 seconds, we're gonna move into that 50 second hold, either chair pose or a wall sit. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So chair pose, toes together. Heels apart. You are squeezing your inner thighs together. Arms can be by the ears. They could be out long. They could be to your hips. But I want you to stay low in that chair. Sink your butt back. Take a peek down. You should be able to see your toes past your knees. Yeah? Deep breath in. Shoulders back. Deep breath out. Sink a little bit lower. Nice job. You are over halfway there. Just 20 seconds left. Who's starting to feel a little bit of burn? That's good. Remind yourself you want to feel today's workout. That's the whole point. All right, up next, we've got tricep push-ups. Again, against the wall, or I'm going to come down to the ground and do these with you. Here we go. Take it down. 
So if you're on the wall, same variation. If not, toes or knees. Come down halfway, elbows in, then all the way back up, yeah? Nice deep breath. Think about the back of your arms at the very top, squeeze. 30 seconds here. You guys are doing awesome. We've got a glute bridge coming up next. Nice 20 seconds, we're going to go into that glute bridge. Nice final 10 seconds, you're going to flip around. In three, two, and one. Go ahead, lay down on your back, heels in towards the seat. Squeeze the seat to come up, then right back down. Remember, it's not a yoga back bend. Keep the tailbone tucked under. Find that tension in your seat at the top, then hang onto that tension as you lower down. This is all about that mind-body connection, right? There's no resistance other than the resistance we create for ourselves. So really think about your glutes. Squeeze them tight at the top. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up, keep it up. Seven seconds. We're gonna flip around. We've got either that wall climb or I'm gonna be doing that down dog variation, yeah? So we're going into flip. You're gonna walk it back, tap the heel, and come back up, yeah? So piking those hips up, tap the heel, bring it right back up. So you're feeling that lift from your core in the same way that you would if you were walking up a wall. Try to alternate which hand ends up reaching back each time. Nice work, you guys. Good, you've got 10 seconds here. That's four. We got hollow body hold in three. Two, and one. Now this is the same for all of us. Every time, arms and legs set long. You hold it for as long as you can. Ooh, you take it down. Now if at any point that becomes too much, you can always bring hands by the glutes or under the glutes when you can't do that variation anymore. Keep the integrity of your core though. Press the lower back to the mat. Reach the toes long. You guys are doing awesome. You got 15 seconds here. If you're coming down, come down for a moment, then come right back up. Nice work, nice work. We're here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Nice job. Take your recovery a minute and a half. Whew, that round felt, felt good. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are feeling good at home too. Up next, we have our 40 second round. Now I know those first two, they felt long. They were long, yeah? 40 seconds is where things start to speed up, where things start to feel a little faster. So I encourage you this next round, really stick with your movements, yeah? either picking up the pace of your reps, focusing more on your form, on your depth, um, but really give a lot more to this 40 second round because it's a lot shorter than the first two we did. You've got it in you. Whew. Take a sip of water, find your breath. We've got just over 30 seconds before we're into our third round today. So 40 seconds is on the clock. Let's go ahead and make our way back to our space. So this time I'm gonna go back to the wall variation. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the wall variation for this next round. Whew. We got about 10 seconds. We're starting with our wall set. We're gonna go in eight seconds. Get yourself set up wall sit or chair pose. Wall sit or chair pose in three, two, one, 40 seconds. 
Nice. So shoulders are back. Push into the feet. Keep it active. Maybe reach one arm up. Reach the other arm up. One palm up. One palm up. Hand to shoulder. Hand to shoulder. Hand to head. Hand to head. Hand to head. Hand to head. And Macarena hat. Hey, make sure you do the Macarena. You didn't even notice. I know, it's so tricky. No, you only have 10 seconds though. What a welcome distraction that was. Nice, we're going into those tricep push ups on the floor or on the wall in three, two, whoo, and one. Come on up, turn it around, right away get into it. Find your breath, find your pace. Squeeze those triceps tight at the top every time. Good, 15 seconds. See, I didn't lie to you guys, this one's going by so much faster. We got glute bridge next. So on the ground or on the wall, glute bridge in four, three, two, and one. Quick transitions, quick transitions. Feet on the ground or feet on the wall. Let's lift those hips. Take it right back down. Push through those heels, squeeze, right back down. The only thought in your mind during your glute bridge is heels, 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 butt, butt, butt. I know it sounds crazy, but it truly makes a difference if you really focus on what you're doing. Good, 10 seconds. We're gonna flip around. We've got that wall walk up or the floor variation. In three, two, and one. Here we go, find your plank, bring those feet up, walk it on up, as close as you can go, then control it as you come right back down to your plank. Again, option, walk it back, tap a heel, and tap another heel. Nice work, you guys, you got 15 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Flip it on around, hollow body hold. Whew. Arms and legs out long. Again, hands under the hips, if that's a better option today. Wherever you are, breathe. Full breath in, full breath out. Nice job, you guys. 20 seconds. You're already halfway there. Awesome work. 10 seconds left. Point and reach through those toes. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Minute and a half to recover. Whew. Nice job, you guys. See, that one wasn't so bad. They're all getting faster. They're all getting easier from here. So this next round is just 30 seconds. It is gonna fly by. It is literally half the work that we did at the beginning. That's pretty cool. Now, when we get to those wall walk-ups, you guys, if you are using a wall, you're welcome to stay up there as we get towards those last couple. So you can choose to go down and up, but if you're like, oh, I'd really like to do a hold for a little bit, feel free to stay up there for those 30-second rounds, that 20-second round. That's an option for you. Um, I'm going to keep alternating the ones that I'm showing you this time. So again, this time I'll be showing you the non-wall variation, but stick to what you're doing either way. All right, 30 seconds. Let's hop up. Start to find your space. We're starting with wall sit and chair pose, yeah? It's kind of mechanical now. We really know all of these movements, so make those transitions really fast. All right, here we go. We got 10 seconds. Wall pose or a chair pose. We're going to go in five, four, Three, two, and one. Here we go. So 30 seconds isn't that long. I know your quads are talking to you. They're going, ah, it's crazy, it hurts. 
just stick with it, yeah? I promise you, you can hold this pose for 15 more seconds. That's it. You are already over halfway there. Can you sink a little lower? Squeeze those inner thighs. Nice job, you guys. You are almost there. Eight seconds. We're moving to those tricep push-ups next in four, three, two, and one. Right away, get into it. Down and up. Whether you're on the wall, whether you're on the ground, does not matter. Use your breath, big exhales. 15 seconds. Glute bridge is next. Yeah, we get to lay down. That's four, three, two, and one. Lay down, lay down. Big squeeze up. Bring it right back down. Keep talking to yourself. Glutes, glutes, glutes. Heels, heels, heels. Squeeze your butt tight at the top every time. Don't forget to breathe. This can be a great movement to find your breath in again. We have wall walk-ups or that pipe variation. Here we go. Find that plank wherever you are. Walk your hands towards your feet. Tap it. Bring it right back in. Walk, walk, walk. Tap. Right back in. If you're holding that wall variation, you can be moving or you can be static. Next job, you guys. We're finishing with that hollow hold in three, two, and one. Flip it on around. Arms can be out long, or hands can be under your seat. But wherever you are, you're pressing your lower back down into the mat. You're extending your toes long. You've got 10 seconds. A little shake, a little shimmy is good. We're awake, we're alive. You're here for four. Three, two, and one. Whew, we did it. Take a minute and a half to recover. Oh, see, that 30-second round didn't feel nearly as bad as our 60-second one. We're going to do just one more round today, yeah? So we just have one 20-second interval left. I'm going to finish by showing the wall variation. Again, choose what's working for you. 20 seconds is going to fly by. So the main advice I have for you is try to go right into that next movement. Otherwise, you're going to miss your interval. Yeah. So we're trying to do those 20-second intervals as unbroken as possible. Yeah. No lollygagging. Get right back into it. Yeah. Yeah. I know I can't hear you, but I hear you. I hear you saying, yes, 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 Brittany. We'll do it that way. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got just over 30 seconds. Grab water, wipe sweat, do what you gotta do to prepare for your last round today. 30 seconds is what we have left. Oh, one more wall set, you guys. You will have done so many wall sets by the end of today, yeah? All right, let's go in 10 seconds. Find your space, wall sit. Or chair pose, eight seconds, and we are in to it. Let's go in four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds. 20 seconds is gonna fly by. Sit nice and low. Bring those arms out ahead of you. Maybe arms straight above you. Wherever you are, you're breathing for less than 10. You're gonna flip around right away into those tricep push ups in three, two, one, don't skip a beat, get right into it. You've been here, you know what's happening. You just gotta do it now. 10 seconds, we take it down for our glute bridge. Feet on the wall or feet on the ground. In three, two, and one. Get right into it, feet on the wall or feet on the ground. Big squeeze, right back down. Nice job, you guys. You know we've got those wall walk-ups next. Ten seconds. You're going in four, three, two, and one. Flip it on around. 
You might just get one walk up. That's okay. Do it anyways. Nice work, you guys. 10 seconds. We are on our back for that hollow hold in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Hollow hold last time. Hands can be above the head. Hands can be by your side. Hands can be under your glutes. But keep pressing that low back down. Final eight seconds. You made it to the end. That's four, three, two, and one. Whew, let it go. Nice work. Take about a minute for yourself. Grab water, wipe sweat. We made it through. We are gonna do a little cool down together. But give yourself a second. Take care of yourself. Get what you need. All right. Once you've had a second for yourself, we're gonna do a nice little cool down together today. So coming up to standing, we'll start just by finding our breath. Soft bend in the knees, give me an inhale stretch, reach your arms up. And exhale, arms down by the side. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms by the side. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, arms up. And exhale by the side. Now, if you have a wall by you, which you might do if you're doing a wall workout, you're welcome to use that or something else to help you balance, or not if you don't. We're going to start in a lunge, you're going to take one foot forward, one foot back. If you have a wall, try to push your back heel down and press into the wall for a little extra resistance. If not, you can be right here. Giving those calves a little love. I don't know about you guys, but I've been doing a lot more walking lately with my free time. So it's nice to stretch our calves a little more. Nice, we're going to step our foot in slightly. Rock your toes up for a little hamstring stretch. So hands on the hips, sending the seat back. Okay, so we're gonna come all the way up to standing. Take that same foot, you can hold onto the wall if you have something by you, and go ahead, give yourself a quad stretch. After all those wall sits, this is gonna feel great. Knees are together, tailbone tucks under. Again, you can still use the support of the wall or balance as you come into a figure four, crossing your ankle over your knee. Hands can be on the hips or to your chest if you're balancing. Big, full breath here. Nice, okay, come on up, give a little shake, and let's go to the other side. So one foot forward, one foot back. If you have a wall, it can feel nice to push against it. If not, no big deal. Good, step the foot in a little bit, rock back, find your hamstring stretch. Come all the way up, use the wall or balance, find your quad stretch. Knees together, tailbone tucks under. Release the foot, ankle over knee, come on down, figure four. Again, wall can help you balance, otherwise hands to hips or hands to heart. <laughs> Sometimes we all need a little help balancing. Nice, and come all the way up, give it a little shake. Let's finish out our workout together with one big deep breath together. From standing, give me one inhale, stretch, reach your arms up and overhead. One exhale, take it all the way down. Nice job, you guys. Happy Thursday. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Thanks so much. And uh, announcements. What do we have announcements-wise? Again, we have that challenge uh, up for the members. So if you haven't done the challenge yet, go ahead, check it out. I think that's all I have. Oh yeah, yoga flows. Um, I'm uploading yoga flows to our YouTube channel. So if you like something else to do today or something to do on your rest days, um, you can go ahead and check out those recovery videos. They are there for you. Uh, if you have requests about what recovery kind of options you want, feel free to let me know. Thank you so much, David. I hope you had a great workout. I will see you guys again very soon.
Bye.